everyone my name is Cynthia Wilson uh, today I will be talking to you about what is a breakthrough now uh, you may be experiencing all kinds of crisis situations in your life and so my goal is to to give you some guidance and experiencing your breakthrough in the year of 2017 or if you're experiencing any type of health issue this is something that you want to take to heart so I looked up the definition of breakthrough and I was kind of surprised that the first definition that I came across was warfare and it says an offensive military assault that penetrates and carries beyond a defensive line now, when you think about the word breakthrough, I never thought about connecting that with warfare. And if you think about it, when, you're con when there, you need a breakthrough, you are most definitely in a spiritual warfare battle. So that really does, uh, makes a good, very good connection with breakthrough. Because a lot of times we, we never think about when we are in those crisis situations that we are in warfare because the enemy does not want you to experience the victorious life to experience the breakthrough for your marriage to experience the breakthrough for what God has placed on your heart or the crisis situations that you're going through but it is God's will that you experience the best that you are blessed and prosper in every area of your life the second definition that I have is, it says an act or instance of moving through or beyond an obstacle. An act or instance of moving through. Now when I think about an act or instance of moving through, I think about that God is doing something deeply in each one of your hearts. Because when we're going through crisis situations, it's in those times that God is trying to get our attention, that we need to humble ourselves, that God is doing something deeply in our hearts and our soul to conform us more and more into the image of Jesus Christ. And that is the time that we need to go before God and really pursue him in a time of prayer and a time of reading his word, um, just embracing him and loving him and doing those things that are pleasing before him that is a time that when we truly humble ourselves god takes us from glory to glory so that is an act or instance of moving through we go from glory to glory now the word breakthrough it is found in scripture it is found in first chronicles chapter 14 uh, verse 11. That is when David named a valley called Baal Perazin because he sought the Lord for victory against his enemies and God provided a breakthrough. And he wants to do the same thing in your situation, in your crisis. God wants to make provision for you. God wants to be your healer because he is Jehovah Rapha your healer. God wants to make financial blessings and, and to be poured out into your life because God says, I am Jehovah Jireh, your provider. But it's very important that we take the initiative and contend for our breakthrough, battle for our breakthrough. When we're in crisis situation, that is not the time to take things lightly. That is not the time to just lie down and allow the enemy to beat us up. But that is the time that you contend for your breakthrough. I want to share a testimony. I want to go all the way back to the time when I received Christ as my Lord and as my Savior. At the age of 19, I received Christ into my life. At the age of 20, I was baptized in the Holy Spirit. And a few days later, after I received the baptism in the Holy Spirit, I began to experience some, some attacks from the enemy when I slept. So 
during this particular time I was in undergrad school I had a little Bible study that I held in my dormitory room and so when I was with the the young ladies that I was having the Bible study with uh, I was talking to them about the my situation that I was going through and I really needed a breakthrough and so after I uh, confessed to them some of the things that I was experienced and I talked about it I began to declare a positive word and the word that I began to declare was I said I belong to the Lord Jesus Christ and Satan could not have me and when I made that declaration I little did I know that it did something in the spirit realm from that day forward I no longer experience any problems of having any more attacks from the enemy of that nature. And so I want you to see that when you need a breakthrough, breakthrough, breakthrough definitely entails warfare and that you need not think that you can just take it lightly, but you have to contend for those things that you need victory for in your life. Now I have experienced very many breakthroughs in my life down through the years and I will share those testimonies along the way. But I want you to know to be that you are to be encouraged. God loves you. He has never abandoned you because the enemy will lie and tell you well God doesn't love you. He has abandoned you. Don't believe the lies of the enemy, but begin to get your focus upon the Lord God Almighty, that he is your great deliverer. He is your healer. God would never abandon you. So be, be encouraged today and begin to get into the word of God. Focus upon how much God loves you and begin to pray and seek God's face. And he will bring forth the things he desired to see in your life and he will take you from glory to glory so on my next video i will be talking about five steps how you can receive your breakthrough and also sharing uh, other testimonies about uh, breakthroughs either for myself or for others that i have ministered to and so um, go to my youtube channel cynthia wilson strengthening your marriage and please subscribe uh, comment and like and also go to my facebook page cynthia wilson uh, embracing my page is embracing his word also leave a comment if you have a, a particular topic that you would like for me to teach on or speak on uh, please go to the facebook page embracing his word and send me a message on facebook Thank you for this time with you. I look forward to our next uh, talking session on video. Be highly blessed. May the peace of God rest upon you and may you be encouraged in the Lord today.